<laughs> That's a really heavy fish. Look at that thing. We kind of have an interesting scenario going here today. As you can see, it's pretty gray. It's raining right now. We have a group of walleyes out here, and uh, I've caught a number of them already jerk baiting. Generally, you know, I love fishing a jig and wrap. It's one of my go to ways to catch a walleye. And you're relying on those fish to be feeding on the bottom, which, you know, I would probably say 90% of the time they do. But right now, I've been catching a few of these on a jerk bait and they can't stand something coming right over the top of them. They're coming up to feed. I've tried throwing spoons on them and ripping spoons through them and stuff, and they do not want anything to do with something on the bottom. And that's just a you know trial and error. You're always that's the whole name of you know fishing. The, the, that's the name of the game is trial and error. And right now, they're coming up and cracking a jerk bait that's you know being suspended over their head. This happens to be a little mega bass 110 plus two, and beautiful bait. You know, it looks like a lake shiner or smelt or something along those lines. But they are throttling this thing right now. We'll show you how I'm using the electronics and then the conditions with the way the wind is, you know, pushing the boat and drifting. I'm using the wind and really relying on the wind. And the, right now, the speed of the wind is just right in the way they want to eat it. You know, they're not chasing it very fast or anything, but they're tracking it a long way. These are all walleyes right here. And we're sitting in 18 feet of water. This bait goes down about 10 feet. I have this paired with, you know, this is 10 pound fluorocarbon so I can get that bait down there pretty deep. And I'm not getting all the way down to the bottom, but I'm getting far enough down to where they can't, they can't ignore this. But I'm gonna line up on what to me looks like some of the most active fish, meaning which fish are the highest in the water column. And, you know, you just line up your casts with either the, what look like the most active or what look like the most, you know, numbers of fish. So I'm gonna just send one straight off the front of the boat, which is probably a 40 yard cast into the wind. I'm gonna bury my rod into the water, you know, get that bait to get down. And I'm just gonna start working it. I'm just letting the boat drift us away from these fish, watching them on pan optics. I have one. He's glued to my bait right now. Got him. There he is right there. He came back. It's really, really effective. And I don't know why it's so effective right now, but it is. Here he is right there with the jerk bait down the pipe. really pretty cool. I've never done anything like this or have caught walleyes this way before. Drifting, um, I'm basically drift jerking <laughs> jerk baits. Using the wind, the wind is the right speed right now. The fact of the matter is that these fish are tracking it for a long time and the speed of the bait and the wind is just right. And it's really cool. I'm gonna keep wearing them out. <laughs> You know, we're not trolling, we're moving really, really slow with the wind and, and you know, this looks, this may look like a trolling bait and you're just, when you're doing that, you're just burning by fish. You know, it's more of a reaction deal and you're covering a lot of water. Right now, you know, I can tell if there's one and they're sitting right on the end of this bait. They're nosing the end of this bait. So when I can see them on my, you know, electronics, I can stop that bait or give it a quick twitch and stop it. Sometimes I can, I've even dropped back a little more line on them and just free spooled for a second just to let that bait hang there a little bit so the wind's not even pulling me. So it's literally just right there hanging for 
you know, as long as I want, essentially. So you can really manipulate your bait and getting the fish to, you know, bite it. I got him. 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 <laughs> that is quite the deal. Come here, you. Netting walleyes on jerk baits. I'm going to keep a couple of these, have some walleye. You know, with panoptics, I'm really able to see what fish are doing and how they trail the bait. And it's just, you make as long a cast as you can and they track and they're coming in, they're coming in and they're coming in and they're closing the gap on your bait. And all of a sudden your bait starts to rise and it's coming back to the boat. And then they just completely lose interest and go back down to the bottom. And it's just like so deflating because you just wish you had another like 10 feet or something, you know? They just follow it and follow it and follow it and pretty soon you just do, you make the bait do the just the right thing or pause it long enough and you just get them to eat. All of a sudden something triggers them and they just snap. Ooh, I got one hot on me there. Oh, there's a couple of them right there. Come on, come on, come on. Oh God, there he is. Got that one. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, look at this one. Holy cow, look at this one. I'm gonna grab that net. Holy smokes. Oh my gosh. That is a big one. Whew. Holy smokes. Oh, she can't even move. That fills up the net. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a nice one. I've, I don't think I've caught a walleye this nice for quite some time. Oh, look at that. Chewing on jerk baits. Big giant walleye. <laughs> we have been catching a number of them, but we have not got one that big. That's a dandy right there. Gosh. I kind of had a hunch, it was just a matter of time you get this pretty bait in front of the right one and I'm shaking, I'm cold and I'm, and I'm excited, wow, she T-boned that thing, that's a, look at those teeth, holy cow, great big beautiful walleye, cool we're gonna let her go.